So we're going to go for Bug Light. I've got quite a lot of the relics as well. I might do some relics actually. It might be a laugh. Or it might be hell. I'm trying to work out. Oh, that's a lot of boxes. So I think I know what the problem is straight away. Oh. The alligators jump out of holes like that. I'm pretty sure they don't. I, I doubt it. Can, uh... That's a very excited alligator. My worry is it involves backtracking in the pitch dark, you know, that, I feel like that's what the problem is. Oh, you little shit. No. There's a lot of boxes. That's my worry. I don't think that's right. Like, the gem pass tends to send you down a different route entirely, which means you have a split route where they don't. But then sometimes... It's, like, you can't ask me theoretically or otherwise to backtrack through this in the dark. It's impossible, especially with all these doors. Um, oh, and there's this. That's the problem. You gotta, you gotta go nuts through this. You gotta go like ham. I'm glad that they decided to show me all this darkness. Ooh, head down run. Yeah, oh, the nitros. Oh, they don't matter. What do they? I've made a terrible mistake. It's fine. We can, we can live with this. We can do it. We can do it. It's fine. Oh, it's not fine. Oh, whatever. Ooh. Muffed up that jump. The double jump basically just saves you from your muff ups, as I call them. Muffed it up! What are we looking at? Death? Infinite death? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We dib it. We dib it. I bid it. I flip it. I don't know what I'm doing. But we can see the dance. Do this at your wedding. See that counted as one. Box gems seem to count as less than the secret or ultimate method gems. Oh you can fuck right off. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look up some of these because I've completely forgotten how to get them. Orange asphalt. How many relics are we missing? Quite a lot. Well, I actually say quite a lot, like five. Five is not a lot. There's one. Uh, I feel like the five are future tense, this one. And then basically the rest of them are, uh, the rest of them are, uh, the hidden, the hidden, you know, the hidden secret levels. And that's why I've not done them yet. Can I shoot some down and then get the timer or is that bullshit? I feel like that's bullshit. Yeah, that's bullshit. <laughs> You've got to hit the timer first. Sorry, that was a waste of everyone's time. You know what? 
We're gonna work out what relics we're missing. I'm pretty sure we got all of these. Okay, we'll try that again. I can platforming, guys. Uh, so we got this one. So we got future tense, mad bombers. What are we missing? Okay. Where are these relics? Well, there's one. So we got one. We got one down here. Mad bombers. So there's two plane levels. We've got two plane levels. What am I missing here? Two plane levels. Future tense. That's three out of five. Also got the mail by one. Yeah, three out of five. Got that one. Um, something's not adding up. There's got to be one that's like easier than the others, you know what I mean? That I can just easy pick. Did that one. Got that one. What am I missing here? Can I time trial the bosses? Oh, it's that swimmy level in it. No! Sorry, this is not content, but we're gonna just... I really want to get a relic. I haven't got a relic all session. It's gems, man. Am I just dumb? There's, nah, I've got these. Okay, I'm just dumb. Yeah, it's just going to break my mind forever now. Oh, there's that hidden hot cocoa one. So there's ski crazed, and then there's hot cocoa. Hot cocoa counts as a separate whole thing. But that's still like one, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm still missing another one at least. So I got three plus this one. Three plus one equals four. Where's the last one? Can I speed run the bosses? I'm, I'm just trying to work out where this hidden one is. That's my brain. Is it that I didn't all gold them? I'm just gonna hit it, gonna hit the thing. This is one. Where have I? I haven't even got the. Now. Maybe I could just try and get the gem for this. This level was always a little weird because it's essentially you're better off using the triggers. Actually, they're a lot more accurate. Ooh. Oh, save the checkpoints until you've made decent progress. Progress. Oh, no reverse. Don't look at me like that, Coco. You're the one with weird hair physics. Um, I'm earning lives faster than I'm losing them. Oh, that's my fault for saying that. Better look like giving me stink eye. Like, yeah, like, this level always kind of annoyed me because it felt like a test level invented for the beta 
for the beta testers and the game testers to check the physics for Coco's jet ski and it's just a series of stunt platforms. There's not really any linear progression to it. And it's fine, but it is definitely like the bottom of the barrel has been scraped to give you this basically a series of ramps in a giant pond. Like, you know, and you're just like, oh, right, great, just what I wanted. You know, and you sometimes it's like when you get a coloring book and there's just like, you know, extra pages and you're like, really? This feels like you just chucked it in as a last, as a last minute thing. Just, and wait, there's more. And even as a kid, you're like, this is filler. This is fucking filler. <laughs> you know? There is a lot, and there's a lot of filler. Oh, well, I just hit one checkpoint. For that big 11 boxes we got. Ah, uh, yeah, and some of it's just, see how accurate you can make the the jet ski, just so you can tighten up the physics, I think. This was in the original, by the way. Uh, I do like that, that you can use the, the route in which you get the hidden level in this game. It's pretty cool, like hitting a special sign, it's pretty neat. It's something kind of fun, but yeah, even as a kid, it's like... Oh. <laughs> it's like when you get a Power Rangers comic book and it's like... There's all the Power Rangers, and there's that one Power Ranger that nobody likes. Oh, wow, okay. Well, there's more room to maneuver there. Like the exact same thing in this room. Uh, and you're just like, uh, okay, I'm not going to do that. And then it's like, load of filler shit where you're like, oh, I'm not gonna bother coloring that one in. <laughs> you know, that felt like, yeah, this is, there's a lot of this in Crash 3, where it's like, it's all pretty simple, ooh, coloring in levels, ugh, oh, shark, shirk, here we go. Um, you know, it's like pretty simple stuff, and the, the same ment mental exertion as coloring in. Where it's really not that oh, little. No, no, what is that? And it's not particularly tough. You're just doing it, and you're just like, oh yeah. But it's just time consuming, and some of it's just like, I really don't care enough. <laughs> like, you know? Wow, it's just so much to this level. It's just miles and miles of like, boxes. Mine Koku jet ski levels, that's the thing, right? A lot of the vehicle levels, you you kind of get the feeling of like, oh, the vehicle levels are gimmicky, but it's actually like not bad considering, you know? Like, they all handle okay except for the planes, really, and the planes are fine, quote unquote. You know, it's not like the jetpack levels where it's like, oh, this is just out to fuck with me. It like actually feels a bit like, oh, I kind of want to, oh, well, this counts as one, right? Yeah. For the detonate. That'll make life easier. 
solves basically all the obstacles that you were dealing with aside from bombs. Yeah, you know, you just feel a bit like after a while it's like you just put this in as like a shit, what can we put here kind of thing. And it's just like sometimes you're like, really? This one's fine though. I forget how to get that one underneath and that's gonna be a problem. We'll work that out in a second. We've got quite a few. We've got quite a few. Oh yeah, maybe got it. Maybe got it. I didn't, but you know. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that actually hurt me. Oh, you're angry. I have to do all that shit again, look. Sorry for you. Infinite death loop. Yeah, uh, oh, and I've got to detonate the box again. There's nitros over there. What the hell? What happened to my nitro detonate? Where is my nitro box? It's over there. We gotta do that first. Makes like a lot easier. <clears throat> I don't think I'm gonna do this because I'm just getting bored and it's like quarter past midnight and I should get to sleep and I've been neglecting my phone this whole time. But, you know, it's not like there's anyone important texting me. Well, not anyone, like, who won't know exactly what I'm doing, <laughs> which is playing Crash Bandicoot. What is one over there, look. They're just tucked everywhere, that's the problem, right? Right, nice work on the water. Right. There's a lot of stuff that this game does right. There's a lot of stuff the classic games did right and that they've managed to carry over very well. But, uh, yeah, some of the levels you start to feel like, okay, this is just... The original intention was just it was more activity. So you say, we've got a crazy amount of levels in this game, and you're like, yeah, but a lot of it's just... Filler, you know, like quantity is not always great. After me saying, isn't Crash 2 a little short? This one's just a little like, what you're asking me to do is pretty dull. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna make the same mistake as before. We can do 11 more boxes in a single run, or not. Because this is, oh, look at this shark, he's waiting for me. Please go. Oh, okay. The sand kind of pushed me into that, but I, I thought I could get around it. Shocked. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, I think the ones I have left are hard ones. <laughs> Unintentionally, I've left the hardest ones to last. Or intentionally, I can't work it out. I'm just going to spin. Go away, shark. You're not wanted here in the ocean. Oh. Cool. That horrible 
double orbit balloon bomb thing that they're doing there. Shark. Volcano. Profit? Uh, oh, come on, come on, come on. Don't do this to me. Yeah. Six left. This looks like an easy one. Five left. Two are there. Those are gonna fuck me. Look at them. Bastard. I have to say that in HD re release, it feels like her jet skis are a lot slower. And it feels a lot less powerful because you used to make it a lot of like a high speed like noise and it felt really like oh yeah and now it feels a bit like flaccid and slow but they lowered the top speed a bit which they probably didn't really <clears throat> but you know little things like that make you feel like oh come on man I can't do this now because it's not fast enough shark bomb bomb shark got four why are they never the easy that's gonna kill me you see? Like, that's designed to kill me. So you gotta kind of like flip it. Flip it real good. Or oh. hang it a little bit. Oh. That wasn't even close. Why am I acting like it was close? Come on. Come on. Yeah. Got extra life. Three more. That's not it. It'd be nice if one of them was a checkpoint I somehow missed. There's two there, and that one's really hard. Where's the other missing one? Let's find that one first. And then absolutely postpone the worst one for the last. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, detonated. Oh, well, there was one around here, but I may have nabbed it. Oh. Oh, joy. And they're on the horrible choppy waves. <laughs> yeah, infinite death. This will kill me in my soul. <laughs> oh, I did it. Now, don't die and somehow find the exit, which is not marked by anything, but was marked by nitros, but you've deleted them because you have two to get to the exit. Uh, you can see why the time trial is horrible. It's like, <clears throat> go from one side of the map to the other, detonate, find the detonate box and drive all the way back, and that's, you, you can avoid everything else. Did it. Are we all happy? I'm happy. Although that didn't really solve me getting the relic I was missing. For some reason, her, her thing was really small for that secret level. You know that all of the data boxes were a lot smaller than the standard. See, it's much bigger here. So... I'm kind of hungry and it's like... 20 past midnight, so it's a terrible time to be eating. Uh, it's only been 25 minutes. I'm gonna do orange asphalt, even though it's harder, and try and get like. We are pretty close, like. 92%. I think it's just the case of you get the ones that you always had to get from the main, like, you basically beat the main areas, you know? Oh. I fucked it. I fucked the... Oh, I did it. Oh. God damn it. A speedy fucked me there. I was trying to avoid the speedy to get the box. <coughs> oh well. I just like playing these levels, but like... Hmm. 
Yeah, you can see why in reviewers and other people would say Crash 3 was very gimmicky in comparison to others. Cause, but you're thinking, like, who's the target audience again? People who want variety and lots of different stuff, not people who want accurate theming and, like, adult themes and everything, which is what the first Crash game had and then, you know, got real weird. It's very more kiddie. And it's very more diverting, a lot of different bright colors, and it's kind of what the franchise needed, not just boring snow levels, horrible jetpack levels, and a fairly short, like, game. Not really much to offer that made you want to come back to it. So that's why you come back to Crash 3, because it's the one that makes you go, oh, look at this level, and look at this level. You're playing the hits, really. And Crash 1, you're playing the hits a lot. And Crash 2 is just like, here's a load of pretty solid levels that I still have nostalgia for. And it's 2. And it was a speedy 2. We'll try one more time. Because that only takes 2 minutes to complete, so... Yeah, you're really, uh... You really just, um, like, imagine it's like bands, right? And it's like, there's still some solid tracks on this, this album, but these albums are just the favorites, you know? Like, it's like comparing, I don't know how to make this not controversial. Um, it's like comparing, oh, fuck. <laughs> um, oh, fuck. That's designed to mess with you. You have to take it from the left around the cop car. Oh, sorry, I mean fucking pig's car. Um, don't know why I'm doing the whole level again, but yeah. Yeah, like, um, it's like comparing um, No Prayer for the Dying <laughs> to Number of the Beast and Seventh Son. <laughs> you know, or like something along those lines. Uh, it's like, you know, it's not that like No Prep of Dying is bad. It's just, and it's got some pretty good hits on there. And to be fair, Crash 2 is more like a Fear of the Dark or like Power Slave album where it's like, it's just not my favorite and it's got some stuff I straight up just don't particularly enjoy and never really gave time for and don't really identify with as excitedly as other other Iron Maiden albums. It's like that. If you're going to compare it to Iron Maiden albums, which is the other thing, it's like Crash 3 is like their 80s era, kind of like somewhere in time and like, you know, I mean, it's easy to draw that theme just because it has future and um, Egyptian themes that you could say that, but like, you know, like, I want to say Crash 2 is just that awkward middle stage. That was even worse. I just got fucking wrecked again. Uh, I can see what I need to do, which is what's so frustrating, because it's like not even that long of a level. Uh, what am I trying to say, though? I'll do it one more time. It's like, you know, you're still gonna play it because like there's some good levels on Crash 2, some good ruins levels, there's some good sewer levels that have got a really good theme song, you got a good surfing levels, it's just I don't know what's what's missing, but it's missing. <laughs> you know, like it's just it's not as vibrant. There's polar bear levels, it's got everything that it needs to have. But for some reason that's gonna be... I'm angry. I'm triggered. Box triggered. Oh, let's just give up now. Let's just put the gun to my head. <laughs> so that's what this children's game wants me to do. Enjoy the game. Oh. <laughs> What am I saying anyway? 
yeah, um, if I was going to just put it down as one thing, it's just the game is, you know, it's just not my favorite. It's not even bad. Crash 2 is not even bad. It's just, well, it, it's just frustrating because it's like you're expecting Crash 3 difficulty and it's not. It's like this weird trolley bullshit where it's not crash one way you know what you're going in for it's not crash free where you know what you're going in for it's just like i said the difficulty curve just spikes randomly and it makes it very hard this is somehow getting worse each time this is what i mean about the bike levels if i keep going and doing them again i get worse and worse yeah if i was gonna say uh, I really wish they'd re-release, and this is like a weird one, just so that I could experience it again, because I feel like if I went back and played it, I wouldn't enjoy it. But I want to know the Wrath of Cortex, because it was very like this, a walkroom-based affair, and I would love to see them HD re-release it and see if I could still play it or if I'd still like it, because they had minecart sections sections where you were in like this ball and rolling around like a big marble run uh and they had this one where you're playing as coco because that was a pool back then look you can play as coco on her own fully playable levels as a platformer because it was the first one that did that and uh she was running away from a tsunami or something and you're like oh that's pretty interesting and there was a lot of secret levels there's a lot of cool neat interesting things they introduced a load of gimmicky stuff that you're like, uh, like extra elemental masks, which then didn't make the cut for anything else. And instead of having any of the bosses, it was really just about the masks, which is a shame because then you don't use a roster like Dinga Dal and Tiny in there. But um, it was, it was an interesting take with really badly aged graphics by modern standard that I would like to see a HD re-release of which we will never see um, but you know say love you I wonder if you can just get it on this backwards compatible and I would play it just to show people what it was like because it was it was interesting it was interesting that's for sure it was interesting Um, yeah, but yeah, I, I'm going to still keep coming back to this every now and then. Oh god, it's half midnight. Um, yeah, I'll come back to this every now and then. Ah, you know what? What's the target for this? <laughs> 44. Oh. Here we do it. We'll do one. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep coming back to this every now and then and just try and get 100% and see what happens, you know? So I can't remember the ending. Like, if you 100% it. It's been years, man. So, um, you know. Just, you know, go back and forth. Thinking of doing Spyro the Dragon, a lot of my friends identify more with Spyro the Dragon and as a huge part of their childhood, so I want to ruin their childhood for them. And uh, we're just, uh, yeah, that's how you do that. That's how you do that. You know, you ride that cub, bitch. Sorry, that was weird. Oh, I missed that one. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, you know what? You know what I want. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, that's what we call big damage. Is there a problem, Granny? Oh. The one thing about this game, they really like naming achievements harkening back to those cringe worthy 90s adverts that they had for this game. 
which were really 90s, where there's a guy dressed as Crash. It's the era of what's up. It's that shit. Where he's going, booyah, grandma, booyah. And it's like, you really know. <laughs> we pretend that didn't happen because it's 90s as fuck. It's up there with blood advertising. And, uh, you know, it's just like wacky as fuck. And you're just like, really? It's embarrassing. So, yeah, that's, that's today. Does that actually add a percentage? Maybe. Yeah. Savvy loading. So that's for today. Um, yeah, some things it's like that nostalgia should, you know, that history of Crash Bandicoot should just be left on the table. No one wants, no one wants to remember that shit. Can we go back to um? the bit where we could just pretend that those advertising campaigns didn't ever exist because they're fucking stupid. And apparently we can't and we have to keep being reminded of them, so... Stupid achievement names. Way before achievements were a thing. Always thought this was surreal, you know? Just nothing but clouds and still-ass sea slash lake with a moon and permanent night. Surrounded by these, like, this is the only thing in the, like, this is like some sort of, like, weird Asia album cover mixed with, like, some Dali shit. It's just real weird, man. Very, very trippy. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up now. I got so much editing to do now, so. Yeah. Cool. Cool, 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 cool.